Welcome. My name is Vincent Nato Mukobe. My student number is 2190005946. Today in this video, I will be showing you how my project works. As you can see, here we have a proposal. In this proposal, the program statement said, the load shedding has a chaos in central university technology as lecturers are forced to cancel some classes during this stage. The problem solution, I am going to design a project that will help improve lectures to take place in CUT during the load shedding. All right, as you can see on our second page, we have a detailed block diagram of the proposed project. And we have our, our uh, all our components that will be used. Here is the input and this side of the output. And we will be introducing the ThinkSpeak server that we'll be using in our project. And then the list of my components is a Wi-Fi module, Arduino Uno, a 5B supply, PR sensor, servo motor, touch sensor, LDR, DHT11, LA module, white LED, 16.2 LC, CLCD, I2C. As you can see, we have our schematic diagram that is presented here on our poster. And then on our second page, we have a PCD that is demonstrated here, as you can see. So, last but not least, here on our poster, we have our flow chart. Here on, the, on, our, on our flow chart, uh, we initialize include all needed libraries, we create variable names, set up. Begin the serial communication, set up inputs and outputs, connect the Wi Fi module to the hotspot, initialize the LCD, and bring the greetings message. On the loop, call the functions light, touch, temperature, and send. Here on the light, you check when the LDR is greater than 150, and then when the, L when the light is less than 150, and then on the PR, the relay keeps the LED off when it's low, and then the relay turns on the LED when it is high. And then on our touch sensor, uh, the, servo, the servo motor remains at zero degree when it is low, and then on the servo motor, it turns 90 degrees when it is high. And we have our void temperature, and our void temperature will read the DHT level, and then it reads to send on the text. Now, we are going to proceed to the operation of the circuit. As our project is classroom automated backup system, this is how it works. First, we are going to connect our project to our PC. As we are going to connect it, the data read from the code. Will be displayed on the screen for our things speak as our ESP Wi-Fi module will transfer everything. All right. Now, when the LDR detects low light intensity, the PR sensor will detect the motion in the room and the relay switch will be switched on. Then, our touch sensor, it is triggered to rotate our servo module to 90 degrees as it is our projector screen. Then our DHT level, DHT level will read the room temperature and it was sent everything to our LCD. The data read in all the sensors will be sent to our ThinkSpeak. To our ThinkSpeak using the ESP Wi-Fi module. Now, in the event of the load shedding, our project will use the NANV supply. As our NANV battery was supposed to work, now we will use it. We will use our NANV 
supply to power our project as our backup system. Now, in the event of the load sheet, we were supposed to use our non battery supply as our supply because now it is a low voltage. We'll be using our non V supply to power up our project. Okay. As now we are powering up our project. Now it is working. So the operation will be the same and how it is designed, it will work the same. This is our project and this is how it is operating. Thank you for watching this video. And I believe that this project will be suitable in the, in the next future to help with the load sheeting in Central University of Chicago.